Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for coming back to the channel and checking out another video. Uh, tonight we're going to be talking about another new beard company. It uh, just came out this year. Uh, a company from Georgia called the Southern Beard Company. Stay tuned. This is the beginning of meditation. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, thanks for coming back to the channel. As usual, we're going to have another small batch beard company review tonight. This one comes out of Georgia called the Southern Beard Company. Uh, this company, uh, is, like I said, is new to the game. They uh, use all organic uh, ingredients for their beard products. Uh, they have quite a selection uh, to choose from on their webpage. They have three different options. Uh, actually, first I'll mention uh, they have what's called a Southern Beard Club to where you can get uh, monthly products uh, in the mail uh, like you see um, like the other businesses do whatever date you choose each month. They also have what's called uh, Build-A-Pack. Uh, the first one is you can build 3.5 ounce oils uh, that's going to run you $24.95. I have my little cheat sheet that's why I keep looking down. Um, <clears throat> you have another build of three pack, uh, your one ounce oils for $34.95 and of course uh, the two ounce oils is for $44.95. So uh, you know you get organic products that smell delicious. I'll say that right off the bat, they, all these products uh, that the gentleman sent me smell delicious. Uh, so you're looking at a pretty good price. Uh, it's kind of funny, um, me and the owner talked uh, quite a few times. Uh, and actually when I was supposed to get the products, uh, what had happened was he had a little baby girl, uh, which kind of delayed uh, the review process. Uh, so I want to say congratulations to you. Um, he is now the father of a healthy, beautiful baby girl. So thumbs up for that. He also sells uh, shampoo, uh, brush, combs, um, <clears throat> pretty much your basic stuff. Uh, tonight we're going to go over uh, three oils and a balm that he had sent me. Before we get into the details, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like the video and like my content, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and if you want to keep up to date with all my uh, reviews, hit that notification button. Also, he uh, sent me this t-shirt for the review. I appreciate that. Uh, and his beer oils come in this these nice little burlap type sacks with the with his logo on it. It's pretty cool. These things are these things come in pretty handy. Uh, and of course their business card. Uh, got a little promo code for you guys. First we'll go over the combo. Uh, let me make sure I got the right one here. Uh, uh, the first one is called Orange Creamsicle, and they're standard amber dropper top bottles. And if you guys are familiar with the Creamsicle, as you know, growing up as a kid, I mean, I still eat them. Uh, the Creamsicle smell, it's a real, real nice, um, subtle scent. Uh, and a lot of my buddies at work ask me, uh, well, they actually didn't ask me. They said I smell like a like a creamsicle, so it definitely uh, smells pretty good. <clears throat> As you can tell, uh, medium consistency, a little with a slight gold hue to it, uh, and it's a creamsicle scent. It smells really uh, delicious, I'll say. Uh, the ingredients, uh, the ingredients uh, in their oil, uh, like I said, it's all organic, um, organic raw honey. Organic coconut oil, uh, organic palm kernel oil, organic olive oil, organic hemp oil, organic jojoba oil, citric, citric acid, vitamin E, organic poppy seeds, and essential oils. Uh, goes nice in the beard. Uh, puts a pretty good shine on my uh, beard. I wouldn't nothing you know too special, but it, it does give a nice uh, nice glare to it. Uh, and that was the orange cream sickle beard oil. Uh, and the balm, he sent me uh, 0.5 ounce of the same creamsicle. 
Uh, and again, these uh, bombs that I've been getting uh, more or less like a conditioning uh, bomb, and they feel really good in the beard. As you can see, it kind of looks like ice cream. It's kind of funny. Uh, and the consistency is like ice cream. And as you can see, it emulsifies pretty fast. Uh, it's got a slight to medium hold. I really, really uh, enjoyed using this one as well. Uh, the scent is very relaxing to me. The longevity I got out of this is about six and a half, seven hours. Uh, it just, uh, it just, it smells exactly like a creamsicle, which is pretty cool, I think. Uh, I've never smelt, I don't think I've ever smelled a beard product with this scent before. And it just smells really good to me, if you like creamsicles especially. Uh, and the ingredients in his balms are organic, organic, uh, tiny, tiny writing. Organic sweet almond oil, organic sweet jojoba oil. Uh, organic argan oil I think it cuts off I think this is his sample and you, you guys can see it's got tiny writing but that's okay like I said this is just a sample I believe the 0.5 and that was his balm uh, the next one is a 0.5 bottle of his French vanilla uh, this is my second favorite and the ingredients are the same I believe uh, organic sweet almond oil, organic sweet jojoba oil, organic argan, and essential oils. Uh, and if you're familiar with um, <clears throat> the French vanilla like creamer you put in your coffee, I use that often in my coffee, uh, the French vanilla. As you can see, the same consistency. And this one, it's got just the right amount of vanilla in here to be like a like a really like a calming uh, type beard oil you definitely get that French vanilla scent it's not too strong it's not you know underpowering it's just the, the right amount of vanilla uh, to cause it to pop and it, it smells really good the same longevity out of this one too about seven hours and that was the French vanilla uh, and the last but not least uh, his coffee scent which he calls but first, coffee. And this one, uh, this is, I like it, but it was a little on the strong side for me. Uh, it's, it does smell like a fresh brewed pot of coffee, but uh, if you guys out there that like your, your black coffee and you know what that smells like, it's just it kind of, it's a little bit overpowering, um, but it settles down you know throughout the day uh, I would still wear it but I wouldn't use a lot just because it's a little little strong and the same consistency and I mean it smells good it smells like coffee but it's just a little bit too overpowering for me uh, when I first wore this I put a full dropper on and, and it was just a little too much for me but like I said, if I use about a half a dropper, maybe a little less, it, it's you know if it's fine for me. And that was his uh, coffee. Oh, don't focus. His coffee scent. Uh, <clears throat> if I ran out of these products tomorrow, would I get them? Yes. Uh, the orange creamsicle, you know, took me back a little bit uh, as when I was a kid because I used to pig out on these the orange creamsicles. You know, come on, guys, you did too. The beard oil and the balm combo go really good in the beard. If you use just the oil, uh, it creates a nice shine, not too much. Uh, feels good in the beard. Uh, the balm, slight to medium hold, it smells good. Um, the other two, like I said, the coffee, a little bit strong for me. If, if you, if you kind of tone it down just a little bit, that's my opinion. Uh, I think it would be perfect. And of course, the French vanilla, uh, it, that's kind of smells like a good cup of French vanilla coffee. That's what that smells like. Without the coffee smell, of course. Just straight French vanilla. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and rate a 4.5. Uh, tone the coffee down. I know I say I keep saying that, but it's it's a really good scent. It's just a little 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 powerful. If you guys want to check out uh, Southern Beard Co.'s uh, products, I'll leave all their links in the description box below. 
I'd like to thank the owner of uh, Southern Beard Co. for sending out some products. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for uh, coming back to the channel and uh, checking out another review. Uh, until the next one, peace.